Hey. <laughs> President Mendenhall just let me know that we have open seats in the front row, so if everybody would like to come in and fill it, that'd be great. Don't rush to the front. It's like church and school, I know. Great job. Good. Great. Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Jen Ray Wong, and on behalf of Nebraska Pro Volleyball, welcome to our exciting name reveal. This is another in a series of very exciting moments as we work to bring professional volleyball to Omaha. It was only one week ago that we gathered here at the CHI Health Center to announce this as our home, home court for the Omaha team in the inaugural season of the Pro Volleyball Federation. And now our Omaha team will have an official name. Today we are joined by Diane Mendenhall, who is the president of Nebraska Pro Volleyball, Jen Spiker, CEO of Pro Volleyball Federation, Jimmy Burrow, Director of Brand Advancement and Founding Partner of the Pro Volleyball Federation, Alicia Ostrander, the former Husker volleyball player and constituent services liaison for Congressman Don Bacon, representing Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District, Shelton Collier, our head coach for Nebraska Pro Volleyball, Michael Stevens, the VP of Corporate Partnerships and Ticketing for Nebraska Pro Volleyball. And in addition to that, before we get going, I'd like to recognize that we also have in our crowd Chris Erickson, who's representing our owners, and we appreciate all of the support. We are also going to recognize and thank Stephen Evans, the co-founder of Pro Volleyball Federation. He was with us in the audience. Stephen, your vision and drive has been very inspiring for all of us. Thank you for helping us make this a reality. Additionally, we'd like to recognize that we are joined today by several dignitaries to include elected officials, business leaders, representatives of the volleyball community, and we appreciate the Omaha Sports Commission being here with us today, as well as the Omaha Convention and Visitors Bureau being here. City Council President Pete Festerson is with us, Councilman Harding, the Honorable Hal Dobb, we see Johnny Rogers, Coach Burrow has his wife, son, and daughter-in-law, and Cameron Gales is here as well. Am I missing anybody else? We'd also like to note that we have dozens of youth players and their coaches and club owners with us today. A special thanks to several clubs throughout the state who have brought representatives to help us share in this moment, including Nebraska Elite Volleyball, River City Junior Juniors, the Volleyball Academy, Omaha Lightning Volleyball, Metro Warriors Volleyball, Nebraska One, Club Legacy Volleyball Academy. And of course, we'd like to acknowledge the coaching community and the support rece we're receiving, especially the College of St. Mary's head coach, Rick Pruitt, Wayne State head coach, Scott Kneifel, University of Kearney head coach, Rick Squires, and of course, the Creighton University head coach, Kirsten Bernthal Booth, who joined us last week for our president's announcement. And this brings us to our new president of Nebraska Pro Volleyball, Diane Mendenhall. She's an Ogallala native who has lived volleyball for most of her life. And she is the perfect person to help lead our team in this new era. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Diane Mendenhall. Thank you, Jen Ray. And that list of dignitaries and just the wonderful, having all the clubs here, I just want to reiterate all the thanks for, for being here for this wonderful moment. And the wide range of people in the areas demonstrates the magnitude of today. 
Just last week, we gathered here at the CHI Center Omaha to announce it as our home for the 2024 Professional Volleyball Federation League's inaugural season. The excitement that generated blanketed the entire state, and it crossed our borders into Iowa all the way to Kansas City. And I have to thank Roger Dixon from Mecca and his magnificent team for their help in creating this partnership and bringing this all to fruition. Today, we have a historic moment in the naming of the first major league women's volleyball franchise sports team here in Nebraska. And for Omaha to have a team and play at the largest arena in the state exemplifies the passion that we have for volleyball across our state for supporting athletics and building communities around our teams. I've been blessed to be part of the coming of age of volleyball in Nebraska. I was one of the first wave of young girls that got the opportunity to play all through high school and earning a college scholarship. And the career opportunities that that presented for me because of those experiences, whether it's in coaching, my business um, experiences, and then Coach John Cook tapping me to be the first director of volleyball operations, one of the first in the whole United States. Over that span of 20 years at the University of Nebraska, working in athletics and administration, something that really struck me is what athletics does for young girls, for women. And that just reiterates what we'll see today and the magnitude of what will be happening. Because you see the playing field, the court, is life's best educational laboratory. Not only do you learn how to build on the losses, how to cherish those wins, but how to strategize, how to build teams and cultures, how to appreciate others' strengths and their skill sets. You learn to negotiate. You learn to find that win-win. Life lessons that will make you a better person. They'll make you a better spouse or partner, a better mom, better in business as a CEO, or as president of the Nebraska Pro Volleyball franchise. Today is truly a monumental day. Prior to today, these talented women had two choices after college. One, to leave the United States and play internationally so they could keep playing the sport they loved, or leave volleyball behind. But today is a new day. This is a historical moment in time for those superstar players who deserve to continue their amazing careers and continue to shine brighter and brighter in the United States, in Nebraska, in our home. Helping bring this all to fruition, we're honored today to have the leader at the helm of, as I said, the first major league women's volleyball league in the United States. Joining us today from the Pro Volleyball Federation home headquarters in Columbus, Ohio, the CEO, Jen Spiker. Jen recently served as CRO for Level Up Human Capital Solutions and joined the PVF last year, following a very successful career helping multi-million dollar private companies drive business development revenue, and growth. In addition to managing the league's day-to-day -day operations, she also oversees volleyball and athlete operations. As a lifelong volleyball advocate, she has more than 20 years of experience combined as a player, a coach, having played AAU, and later receiving a scholarship to play at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Don't confuse that. She has a great story about our Wayne State, who we love dearly here. Please help me welcome Jen Spiker. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. And yes, my last name really is Spiker. It's kind of fitting. Um, thank you to Dave Winham and Stephen Evans, uh, our founders, my colleagues. Stephen is with us today. Um, the 
Pro Volleyball Federation, the entire team that's working with me tirelessly to bring this league to fruition. To Danny, Chris, Diane, and the entire Northeast, uh, sorry, Nebraska Pro Volleyball Organization, thank you for having us. Um, yesterday, we announced our first expansion team for 2025. In case you didn't catch it, it's going to be Dallas, Texas. We have already have two other expansion teams that we'll be announcing in the coming days and months. In addition, in the coming days, we will be announcing our final roster of teams going into play in 2024. In just six short months, almost to the day, we will be playing our first matches. And I can tell you, I can't wait. When we started this league, our goal was to bring opportunities for the United States women that had to go overseas and play volleyball and continue their careers in countries that they have never been in. I think that bringing women home to the United States of America to be able to play volleyball is a dream. And I think that Gina and Natalia would tell you just to play in the United States is one thing. But for these two to play in Omaha, to be named the franchise players, that was the goal. And I think we made them both very happy. Dreams are coming true. I remember my first phone call with both of them. I think I made Gina cry. <laughs> we couldn't have a team or a league. Or sorry, we couldn't have a league without putting a team in Nebraska. Nebraska is volleyball, and this is our time. This next speaker needs no introduction to Nebraska sports fans. He and his family were early adopters and investors in our league. He is a storied Cornhusker football player and coach, Coach Jimmy Burrow. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate everybody coming, and uh, I know it's a, a big deal when I see old, old friends of mine, Tom Chattel and, and Jim Rose uh, back there. So uh, their coverage in the many things I've been involved with over the years, uh, you know, they're, they're very good at what they do. But you know it's a big event when my former teammate, Johnny the Jet Rogers, is here. Yeah. Now, if he's here, then uh, you, you, you know it's a, it's a big deal. Johnny and I go back a long ways. Uh, we had a chance to hook up at the Heisman a few years ago and hang out. And those were, were fun times. Appreciate you coming. Uh, as I said, most of uh, my career has been involved in, in football. But when I was approached by Dave Winham and Stephen Evans to, to get involved in the, the Pro Volleyball Federation, uh, they sold me the, the vision that they had and the passion they had to make this uh, league the, the best league in the world. And as you would know, again, my association with, with Dave Wenham goes back to our arena football uh, days when I was at uh, with the Iowa Barnstormers. And really, this, this franchise kind of started, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, when we were in a suite at Arrowhead Stadium, uh, you and Danny, and, and, and I, I threw it out there thinking, well, uh, I knew there had to be a team in Omaha, but you know how it got here is a, is a long story. But uh, this is an unbelievable uh, franchise, and uh, everybody that's a part of it has put together uh, an, an amazing staff, and, and I'm glad to, to, to be a part of it. Uh, Omaha and, and Nebraska has, has been a big part of my life, and to see uh, the people here today to support the, the league and, and the Omaha franchise uh, I couldn't be uh, more proud. My family's actually involved, uh, my son Joe, and that's the first time I've never been introduced lately as Joe Burrell's dad. So th there you go. Uh, but he's, he's involved, my, my wife Robin, we're, as they said, uh, uh, investors, and, and it's a big deal to us. It's a, it's a big deal to the city of Omaha, and it's a big deal to the state of Nebraska. Uh, I know Johnny's going to be at the first game, right, Johnny? And, and I was with uh, uh, Governor Pillen at uh, the World Series. Uh, Jim uh, and I played together at Nebraska. He said he was going to be here for the first game, so we're going to first match. We're going to hold him to that also. So again, thanks for coming. Thanks for all the support. This whole thing couldn't be made possible without the many volleyball fans in the state of Nebraska. And it's uh, 
it's one of the best uh, volleyball states uh, in the United States, and I'm sure this is going to be a very successful franchise. Again, thanks for having us here today, and I look forward to being at some of the games. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Burrow, and thank you to you and Jen and Stephen Evans, one of our founders, for bringing this, this whole dream um, to a reality. And it's, it's interesting, the twists and turns, but all roads back to lead to Nebraska. And we were at dinner last night, and absolutely everyone that came up to our table, and many of you are here tonight, today, thank you. Um, the question that Jen would ask, or one of us would ask is, is why do you like volleyball? Or do you like volleyball? And the statement was, just like our founder um, here in Nebraska said, it's Nebraska. We just like volleyball here. So um, thank you very much for making this dream a reality. Next, I'd like to introduce the Constituent Services Liaison, representing our second congressional representative, Don Bacon, speaking ha on behalf of the entire Nebraska congressional delegation, who all know what it means to bring national attention to our state. We know that Nebraska Pro Volleyball will be one of our shining examples for the state on the national level. We're thrilled to have Alicia Ostrander read an excerpt of support from Congressman Bacon. But before I turn the mic over to Alicia, as Jen Ray let the cat out of the bag, she played for the Huskers. And she's a native of Gordon, Nebraska, all the way out there in God's country. But when you think about all these talented women that didn't have the opportunity to play professionally in the United States, Alicia is an example of that. She didn't have that opportunity. But look what she's done in parlaying the skill set she learned to the position that she has today. So please help me welcome Alicia. Diane is too kind, um, and I just, I. I'm so excited for this program that she's been named president. Um, I know that this program is in great hands, just having had experience with her at Nebraska Volleyball. Um, I just, stepping outside of my job position, I cannot say how excited I am that there is a professional league here in Nebraska. Just as a young girl growing up in Nebraska with dreams of playing Husker Volleyball, dream accomplished. Yes, I did get to play a brief season overseas, but I wish I had had the opportunity to play um, for my country, in my country, with Nebraska fans, with my family that could come all the time. So um, just, again, outside of my position, I just personally want to thank everybody that's been involved in making this dream come true. Um, for future generations, it's just, it's incredible to be a part of, and so thank you. Um, just... <laughs> Stepping back into my job, uh, this is just a brief letter from Congressman Bacon. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I could not be with you today. Thank you for having us here to speak on this incredible new opportunity in women's sports. I want to start off by saying how much we appreciate City Ventures' co-founders, Danny White and Chris Erickson, and global music sensation Jason Derulo for their investment in our community. We all know what a treasure volleyball is to this great state and how much it means to many young women across the country. I'm proud to see this growth in women's sports and creating professional leagues here in the United States, and even more excited that Omaha will be the home city to the Nebraska pro volleyball team. We hope that this league can continue to grow and can continue to make a positive impact. I look forward to the opportunity to attend games this spring and witness tremendous talent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alicia, and please pass on our appreciation to the congressman. Next, I'd like to introduce our head coach. Coach Collier is one of the most respected coaches in the nation, a recent inductee into the AVCA Hall of Fame. His career spans coaching at all levels, from the collegiate to the USA Youth National Team to the Olympics. He just flew in late last night, very late last night, from Anaheim, California, where he was at the USA National Training Center watching four of our players train. 
please help me welcome the seventh winningest coach in NCA history, Coach Collier. Women's pro volleyball, just really cool to say those words, isn't it? Um, I'm really honored uh, to be the first head coach of this amazing franchise. And on behalf of myself and all of our players, we really, really want to give a shout out to all the collegiate coaches, high school coaches, club coaches, all the players in Nebraska, all the incredible fans in Nebraska for setting up what is the number one state in for women's volleyball in the entire country. And we're just really proud that we get to come here and represent you and participate in that. Uh, when we built our team, we built it around former Olympians, collegiate All-Americans, uh, players that have played professionally overseas for many years. Uh, we have players that are on the current USA national team. And our goal was to bring a really, really strong team here to Omaha and represent us in year one. Uh, we do have two players here uh, that were, are representing our team. We have Gina mancuso Prasoski. She is a... I guess I have to start knowing as a coach, you don't need to introduce her. Everyone already knows her. But um, what an amazing thing to have a former Husker All-American as one of our key players who happens to live right here in Omaha. And then we have Natalia Valentin Anderson. An Olympian on the Puerto Rican national team. Pretty amazing, and she happens to live right here in Omaha now. So we didn't have to go too far to get those. I think it's important for you to know we have players from all over the country, and every one of them expressed that they can't wait to play at the CHI Center in front of the largest crowd in the league. They are so pumped about coming to Nebraska and playing volleyball here. Every player has said they want to put on an entertaining show for the Omaha fans, plus they want to win a championship. And a side note, if they win the championship, they split a million dollars. So kind of cool for them, huh? <laughs> I just think we have a dream that we want to fill this arena, we want to go home, and we want to watch the highlights on SportsCenter. And recently I watched the women's, uh, or the ESPYs at, uh, at ESPN, uh, and a lot of women were featured, no volleyball players. Our goal, we have an Omaha player nominated for a, an ESPY, receive ESPY for best pro athlete. Omaha receives best professional team of the year, and we get some massive exposure for what's this incredible opportunity right now. Thank you very much. That's what you call dreaming big, but we'll get it done, right, Coach? It's happening. Right. And he's done that, let me tell you. He has built this team with superstars and positioned us to win the championship. So finally, as part of our announcement today, we're also launching our deposit campaign for season tickets. So I'm going to bring up Michael, the gentleman with all the answers. Ooh, wow. Michael. All the answers. All the answers. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Diane Shelton. Great vision. I'm, I'm fired up. Let's, let's go. And, you know, it's a, it's a great day to be here, and it's also a great day to begin our season ticket deposit campaign. So, starting today, we ask fans to visit our website and click on the season ticket deposit link to make their $100 deposit. And you're going to reserve your spot in line for when we do select seats in August. Seat selection will be based on when you make your deposit, so get online as quickly as possible and, and make that deposit. Um, and then in August, we will actually select the seats and purchase. We have full season ticket packages ranging anywhere from $150 per season ticket to $1,500 per season ticket, just depending on where you are in this great venue right here. So, uh, so affordable prices and, and some great seating options. And really, I just want you all to know, we are committed to serving and entertaining our fans, and we promise a fan experience that'll exceed expectations. That's what we're about. We're about our, our, our athletes and putting on a great show and serving our fans, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. Go to our website. Place your deposit, and uh, again, thank you for being here. Questions about tickets, we'll answer that in just a bit. But uh, again, thanks for having me up.
Thank you, Michael. And thank you to your team in bringing us today to today and prepping for this because we know there's a frenzy right now online. So don't, don't wait. Put your deposit in because as we know in Nebraska, once they're gone, they're gone forever. So, okay. And now the big moment that you've all been waiting for. When looking for our team name, we've been listening to fans from all over the world coming up with great ideas. As I mentioned, one of our co-owners, Jason Derulo, global music sensation star, posted this on his social media platforms. And let me tell you, he has some followers, 130 plus million. We got names from all over the world and our social platforms um, just filled up and boomed all the way from our social pages to volleyball pages to chat boards with ideas. We looked at over 3,000 of those names. Listening to the fans, we wanted to a name that both embodies what the players on our team and who they are and also reflects this historic moment in sports. Nationally, there is this huge explosive energy around volleyball. And we're able to allow the best athletes to shine bright here in the United States. Like all epic moments, we stand on the shoulders of those that paved the way that this epic energy and creating this tremendous volleyball legacy across our state will bring. Where we now have the opportunity to build on their hard work, which allowed these little girls to dream of big, being a playing in high school, dream of playing in college, and now dream of being shining stars, playing professionally, and winning championships in front of the most knowledgeable and passionate fans in the stratosphere, right here in our home. Please draw your attention to the big screen for our team name. Here in Nebraska, the stars shine brightly. From east to west and north to south. Every so often, an exquisite explosion of light and energy illuminates not just the sky, but the universe, making awestruck any observer and frenzying a spirited astonishment among those in its presence. And these are not just any stars in the sky. They are supernovas. Welcome to the Omaha Supernovas, the brightest shining stars among their peers. On the court, Omaha Supernovas are also a rare breed of skill, desire, dedication, and a relentless drive to be the shining lights within a league full of stars. Only a select few stars become supernovas. In Nebraska, the stars really do shine bright, but it's the supernovas whose magnificence defies the ordinary and whose trailblazing spirits now light the path to extraordinary aspiration. This is bigger than any of us. This is a moment in history. This is our sport. This is our community. This is our home. This is our time. How about that? Yes, the Omaha supernovas, the brightest shining stars amongst their peers, majestic in their power and bold in their brilliance. Nebraska, Omaha, this is our sport, our community, our home, our team. This is our time. We are the Omaha Supernovas. Now 
I'm going to ask Jen Ray to come up and share the next steps. Okay, it's impossible to follow all of that, so I'll just be really brief here. Um, following the news conference, we're going to walk over to the mezzanine right here where we will be giving out some merchandise for all of our youth players that are here. So thank you so much for being with us and the coaches. Don't worry, we've got you. Um, and then following that, we're going to walk over to Let It Fly where from 11.30 to 1, we're going to be doing live podcasts with our guests here today and also having a community celebration. So please join us for that as well. And I just want to give a special thanks. Uh, we have a representative from the Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert's office here that I missed earlier. My apologies. And uh, a big thanks to our partnership with Herd Sports, who's helping make sure that we get all this content captured and streamed and has been putting in tireless hours as well. So remember, it's now open. You can get your season tickets. It's first come, first served. Yes, that's a volleyball pun. And we'll go ahead and uh, open it up for questions and answers. Sure, okay, yeah. Is there like a big family? Is there a chance that we can all kind of sit together? Yeah, Michael, you want to talk to that? Yeah, sure, absolutely. You'll just you'll put your deposit in, uh, one deposit of $100, and then when the time comes to uh, purchase tickets, you'll just want to be able to purchase all on that, on that account and be able to sit together. We have not put We have not placed a limit on that account. Yeah, yeah. Well, I... I think technically, not to interrupt, I think it's 16,700 seats is what you're allowed. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, we're filling the arena. Yes, ma'am. Any media questions? Going once. Going twice. Everyone, thank you so much. Again, we are the Omaha Supernovas. Thank you for being here today.